I'm Wayne McGregor with Target Tracker, and we developed these products to help save lives. Um, everybody's heard about Columbine, shootings going on at the malls, bank robberies, everything going on in this down economy. Now, I'm not trying to sell you fear, but I'm trying to show you what there's solutions out there that are affordable that people don't even know that are on the market. So, what we have is we have a unit here that has tack shields that we mount to it and I'm going to show you the rapid deployment system where we can um, get that set up very very quickly for SWAT teams um, and when there's hostage threat negotiations over here is our advanced target system so police can train on eliminating the threats and saving hostages lives over here we have the emergency medical evacuation system and in a minute I'll show you the, uh, the remote control for the tack system on the um, AR. Now I'm going to show you our rapid deployment system for tack shields. Now keep in mind I'm one man on unloading this unit and getting it ready uh, so if you're basically in a SWAT team you'll have four guys, four shields and you'll be able to deploy a lot quicker than one person deploying by themselves. So start your timers right now. Okay, stop. That operation right there for one man took less than one minute. When you have four guys bringing their tack shields in there, it's a lot faster. Four guys can unload that in less than 10 seconds, have their tack shields on, and ready to go for that situation where you need every second timing is critical. The next thing I'm going to show you is emergency medical evacuation stretcher. It all works together. It has a payload capacity to get the wounded out of harm's way. Uh, maybe it's a civilian in a bank that's been wounded from a bank robbery or something like that. It can be used with the tack shields or without the tack shields in a non-threatening manner. So the bank robber, if he's still in the bank, chances are he'll let the unit come inside. The other thing that I wanted to explain to you is this is the outdoor rugged version right here. We have an indoor version um, that's basically uh, shorter in the back and shorter in the front and then a little shorter in the midsection. And what that allows you to do is in any public area in the United States, we have wheelchair access. So anywhere where there's wheelchair access, you can get this whole unit in fully equipped um, to basically take care of any hostile threat that might be in a public place. Now watch me throw on the medical stretcher. I'm going to back the unit up a little bit first. I could have done that with the remote, but I'm going to show you the remote in a second. That's all there is to it right there. Simple, easy, fast, and it's a solution that will help save lives. This is a remote control that's mounted right onto the rail of the gun. So you can control the unit and the tack shield at the same time while you're fighting behind it and addressing threats in any situation. So basically after you have it all set up, you turn the unit on, turn the remote on, and now you can drive the unit and fight behind it. Slowly advancing backing up quickly. Now keep in mind this is with all the attachments together. The tack shield attachment and the emergency medical evacuation system. The next nice part about this process is after you've addressed the threat, okay, you have options. 
So you can sling your weapon like so. Pull your tack shield and then address the threat with your tack shield away from the unit. The nice part about that is if you hold these tack shields for a long time, your arm gets fatigued, they're heavy. You can look at the video that they shot when the police uh, were called in California at the university where the shooting was. You see in the video from the helicopters, the police officers are setting their shields down because they're heavy. So if you've got to go 100 yards, 200 yards with this unit, or you're going down hallways of a school or a hospital or a, in, inside of a bank, you don't have to worry about the fatigue, okay? Fatigue works a lot of different ways, okay? The, the major part of fatigue is, as you get tired here, and you're fighting here, this is what happens after time when you're fighting behind a tack shield. Not to mention that the extra training and everything that you have to do just to be able to shoot accurately like this while utilizing the tack shield. Now we're working on them. But this system is designed where if you have existing tack shields already, they'll all hang on these clips just like so. And they're very, very easy to deploy. The next product that I'm going to show you, and this is how we suggest that every law enforcement agency, SWAT agency, start their relationship with Target Tracker and our training products, is this right here is the advanced tactical system. What it is, it's a 3D target, and typically we have a plastic one from Hostage Threat System that's interchangeable with our product. So basically, while you're in training, you've got a couple different um, ideas and everything to shoot at. Now, you can have the product shooting, charging the shooter. We have locking pins, so you can have it locked in a certain position or you can have it spinning freely so when it's shot it's going to move and actually replicate some more realistic shooting environments also you can have the unit addressed from a side shot so if you wanted to oscillate out of an opening um, or an area to simulate someone coming across a corner or moving down a hallway you can do that by simply just hitting the remote and forward and reverse and then set your accurate training distance. Now you can do this for pistol shooting, you can do this for long range sniper shooting as well. These controls are designed with 500 meter range, so that's over 400 yards. So you have the ability to go between zero and 400 yards. On the website we put down zero between 200 yards um, simply because it's hard for some people to control the unit without the proper practice at long distances because it's hard to visually see and control at the same time when it's a long ways away. So this will give you an idea of some different training exercises you can do with it or you can have a unit charging you and it's zero to nine miles an hour so that will simulate the speed of a running man. And there's our target system. Now the, the nice way to start this out is you buy the advanced tactical system with the plastic target on it, the cost on that $1,600. With these simple U-bolt attachments down here, it takes a couple seconds to interchange targets and things of that nature. So you start off with the base unit and then you can add any of these components as you go. So you don't have to worry about a, a $10,000 system or a $20,000 system. Um, when I pulled people in the market, they said, oh, all that together, that's got to be $25,000. You can get all this together, the entire system, not including the tack shields, for less than $6,000. So it's in everybody's budget. Start off with the, the, the base unit. You can add the tactical shield holding bracket. You can add the emergency medical stretcher and the bracket that holds that on the unit. And here's the next thing that we have as well as far as our advanced hostage threat training system. Now I'm going to show you the simple interchangeability of these products for multiple training purposes.
Very simple. Pull the single target off. Simple and easy changeover between products. This right here is the hostage threat system. It's all set up the same way. You can put locking pins in here. So if you want it mounted sideways for the back and forth action. Keep in mind this unit has full steering capabilities. So you can drive it around just like a remote control car. There's a lot of challenges that present itself. The nice part about it is it provides a dynamic training ability so it'll get your heart rate up and it'll be the closest thing to simulating uh, a real event. Now if you want to practice by yourself with one target or two targets, that's easy to do. Right on the remote control, you can set your throttle speed and then you can actually set your radius. So if you want this you can basically set it right in the remote control where it will go in a given circle radius. You can set the remote control down while you practice shooting at the moving target while it's moving by itself. So if you're one man you can practice by yourself. If you have a group of people it makes it a lot of fun because then you can interchange between shooting and controlling the unit. It makes it very very realistic because the control is going to be different every time with a different operator. So it's a great way to elevate your training and it's a great way to help protect the community. The nice thing about these targets is they're great for airsoft, non-lethal training, and live fire training. The hard plastic targets are great for live fire training and paintball training uh, because the hardened plastic tends to explode the paintball cartridge better than a foam target. We use both because we want to make this system versatile and agile for everyone for their training needs. So you've got some options, they're inexpensive options, and that's the great part about our product. What we typically do is we take a little fast enamel drying spray can, so when we have one shooter process his shots, we come by and we hit it with a little dab of, of a spray can to mark that location, so if the next shooter hits that same spot we can identify as a new shot location. The other uh, nice thing that we do for hit shot location is we'll put on a target tracker t-shirt that has our logo circle um, in the chest and the front and on the back and what that allows you to do is basically if every um, shooter that's out there has that t-shirt they can take that t-shirt with them put that t-shirt on the target uh, do their shooting and then they can score their center mass of how they hit the target and you can see the holes in the shirt. So we usually do that when we process a lot of shooters and then if we're only processing 10 to 20 shooters we do the spray can method and if we're processing 50 or more shooters we do the t-shirt method. And you're talking three or four bucks for a t-shirt with an iron on on it and it works great for a target. So it's a couple different options that you have uh, working with us and we appreciate you watching this video. Help keep your community safe if you're uh, not a law enforcement officer, you might even work at a bank or a 7-Eleven or a mall. And if you're an owner of that company and you can afford to help provide your local PDs or your law enforcement agencies funding so they can buy this stuff in these economic times, then I urge you to do so. So you never know. It might end up saving a life of your loved one, even if you're not a police officer. So thank you very much for watching this video. We look forward to hearing from you. Feel free to contact me. This is my email address right here. And right here is my phone number. I look forward to hearing from you.
Thank you very much and have a great day.